Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and this is the electrical question of the day. Today we're going to ask the question, type NM cable, Romex, must be supported every blank feet and within blank inches of each outlet or junction box. So this one you're going to use your keyword and index process for, and if you are new in the game, you you know, you'll work through it the long way, but the more you get into the game, and as we shrink the code book on this channel and the Electrical Code Coach channel, you, you will be able to flip straight to 334, and you'll also be able to flip straight to the dot .30 section because in 334.30 it's going to tell us the answer to this and it's going to tell us that it's not required to be stapled more than th uh, four and a half feet apart and within 12 inches of the box you can do it more than that but you're not required to do it more than that now if, if me and you are being honest four and a half feet for Romex can kind of make it look funny um, it's depending on where you're at it might you know cause it to jig and jag if you want your work to look super neat and straight you might have to occasionally staple it more often than four and a half feet and just as a fresh reminder that when you are dealing with conduit or cable types, if there is securing and supporting codes, they're going to be in the dot 30 section of that article. So if you are in EMT, it's going to be EMT dot 30. If you're in rigid metal conduit, it's going to be RMC dot 30, whatever that respective number is. I think it's 352 and I'd have to look at the articles there. Same thing. Yeah, it's 358 for um, EMT, and then I'd have to look up, it's 344.30 for RMC. So 358.30 for EMT, 344.30 for RMC. If there is a requirement for it in that code article, there will be a section .30 in that cable or conduit type. You can visit electricalexamcoach.com to learn more about all of these complex subjects. We try to make it as simple as possible for you. You can take our free version or you can take our paid version, which is when you're really ready to get your license, you take the paid version. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm praying for you today. And if there's anything I can do to help you in life or business, you can always just email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.